When I get to work with a team in a school, one of the first things I'll do with that leadership team is I'll listen because it's really important to me to understand the journey the school is on, the stage that we're at, and to hear it from the key players around the table together. Uh, because everyone has a plot to play, it's not just behaviour in a silo here, teaching and learning, special needs and so on and so forth, really important to link those things. And what I will try and do is help them to link the big strategic messages to the operational practice on the ground so that the kids, um, the children in the school, um, experience a coherent joined up approach from the adults so that the adults become trustworthy, the children can engage and we get uh, behaviour change. And what excites me about working with schools? Well, it's a couple of things that come to mind. One is when I've led that training session in the big room with all the staff. And at the end of the day, when I'm leaving, I, I know because they're telling me that there's these people who've arrived despondent and fed up and complaining and blaming things on the kids. They've suddenly got a sense of, hey, we can do this. We can make a difference when we act together. And the other day, I got a wonderful email from an assistant head in the school I'd done a behaviour walk and I'd given her some feedback and she was telling me how she felt really stark that there were certain pressures at play in the school that were blocking progress but after I'd sat there with her and pointed out a few things that I thought were possible ways forward she'd, she'd gone home that night and sat around the kitchen table, sat at the kitchen table with a, a mug of coffee and some big paper and she'd be able to work out a plan. And now she felt optimistic and she could see a way through to getting things better in the school. And so her email to me that she sent uh, thanking me was perhaps one of the best pieces of feedback I've had.